Okogi State Governor Yaya Bello has asked organized labor in the state to see the government as a partner and not an antagonist. Governor Yaya Bello said this during the event to mark 2022 International Workers' Day held at the Muhammad Buhari Square, Okoja. Governor Bello, who was represented by the secretary to the Kogi State Government for Lashade Ayuade, appreciated the organized labor for their commitment to industrial peace. She said the administration of Yaya Bello will sustain the prompt payment of salaries and pensions to workers and pensioners. She commended on behalf of his boss, the governor, the support of labor towards the administration. Faith Abdukalfa has more. The NLC chairman Onu Aduka, represented by the chairman of the Trade Union Congress, TUC, Ronti Ojo, listed the challenges the workers are facing and urged the government as a matter of urgency to attend to their needs. We have to appreciate the effort of Your Excellency for being proactive in this directive. We really thank you for safeguarding the lives and properties of indigenous in, the, in Kogi State, as well as people who use Kogi State as en route to other parts of the country. We encourage Your Excellency and your security team to sustain this feast. On this note, may I crave the indulgence of all the entire workers in this arena to give His Excellency a standing ovation with clapping for this feat he has achieved for us. All the workers should rise up on their feet because if Kogi is not safe, we will not be able to gather here today. Governor Bello, represented by the SSG Fala Shade Ayo Adi, acknowledged the payments of percentage salaries to workers at the local government level, said they will look into the issue. As I understand the appropriate task of ensuring that we pay our workers on or before the end of each month. This we have done, except in February of this year, 2022, when we were forced to respond to a bismally poor inflow by demanding some sacrifice across the board, starting with me. Governor Bello re-emphasized that after the staff screaming in 2018, the state government has continued to pay salaries, pension and gratuity on or before the end of every month. Ayo Ade also spoke about the rumors making around that the state government is planning to downside its workforce. I thank those in the workforce who graciously obliged us. Why for those who face job change, we can only offer our apologies. I'm also a staunch advocate of advocates pay for the worker. Hence the speed with which my administration made Kogi State one of the first in the Federation to adopt and to commence the process of implement implementation the new national minimum wage. Governor Bello commended Kogi State workers and the union for their sacrifice, maturity and patience. He promised to resuscitate the car loans for civil servants. Workers, especially in the public sector, have not been exempted. In fact, some will argue that you are the worst it, given that inflation has consistently denied the value of your salaries, even before they are paid. I must therefore commend all workers in Kogi State and the union themselves for the maturity, sacrifice, and patience with which they have responded to these global difficulties within our domestic economy. On our part as governments, we will apply palliatives as any discretionary funds become available to lighten your bodies. Workers and government functionaries converge on President Muhammad Buhari Square, local just to celebrate this year's Workers' Day in a lighter mood. Faith Abdul Gaffar reporting for MSC TV.